but I'm coming to talk about the power of electrons because inside of an atom, the atom is the smallest element or smallest unit, as they say in modern science, which consists of electrons, protons, and neutrons. But out of these three forces, there is one that is more powerful than all three, which we call an electron. And an electron or atoms um, which can lose or gain electrons are called eons. These electrons, which is in our spine, have a lot to do with hallucination, has a lot to do with magnetic fluid in the nervous system, which crosses us over into dream states upon a sleep analysis of the frontal lobe of the brain upon leaving the body. Now, we might look at the positive charge and be like, well, that's positive. Well, everything positive is not good, and everything negative is not good, but everything negative is not bad either. Because the lower forces of the anatomy, right, is sometimes the higher forces, which allows you to see the things that's unseen upon exiting the body when certain chemical compounds inside of the RNA presses forward within the REM state of your sleep. So, these electrons, which in religion we call negative, or we call satanic forces, we have forces in our body that regulate or balance what we see, how we act, and what we do. Matter of fact, these forces are psychics. I'm going to say that again. We have forces in our body that are psychics in the form of chemicals because chemicals is what? One of the five forms of energy. Now, <clears throat> every thought that we think affects this chemical compound and it restructures it in the body because we have chemicals in our DNA, right? And the ribonuclear acids are the messengers for these chemicals telling it what to do by way of how you think. So this is where the spiritual community come in when they say that we can restructure healing in our body. We can tell ourselves to do certain things and things of that nature. But not only that, these electrons are the sole reason that we pull things that we think about when we meditate or when we pray. When we are in deep visions of our soul and we are asking things to be pulled toward us, it is, the electro, it's the, it is the electric forces, right, inside of our body that we know as electrons, which pulls these things by way of our thoughts, because our thoughts is a form of matter as well. It's just not solid matter. It's a matter that science had no idea, right, which structures up a thought, which actually pulls in everything that we think about. Every time we think something, the sun is affected by it. Every time we think something, when we give our attention to the thing that we're thinking about, it is being affected by it. If you go sit in front of a plant, right? The plant consists of chlorophyll, right? And this chemical compound that we call chlorophyll has a force in it that connects to you emotionally. These electrons, right, connect to things inside of the universe emotionally. And it's just like when you are trying to spit game to a woman, right? You get into an emotional state of trying to create game to pull her towards you more, to make her fall in love with you more. The same thing when you meditate, these electrons is kicking game to the things that you're calling out for, to bring to you. All right, so don't ever let nobody tell you that science is not worth it. It's not worth studying because science is a basic calculation of spirituality. And without spirituality, science will forever have many hypotheses and theories inside of a box which confuses the world today in which we call modern science. Black Science TV 111, 0 sake of 4, I'm out. Peace.